All right, there we go. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, demon, hi. All right, first things I need to do is actually a little bit of repair work. Because this dude's little... Um, weapon half snapped off while he was in a storage box so I need to fix that and then I need to figure out what I'm actually streaming tonight because I have not planned that far ahead so I do have more of Luan's death guard to work on but I'm also kind of tempted to you know maybe do a little something of my own but I'm not sure what so we shall see we shall see because I have not had any brain to brain any plans Are you going to stick or am I going to have to hold you there for the next couple of minutes before you stick? I'm going to hold you there for a little bit. That's all right. I will look up at, at chat in a minute. Okay, there we go. There we go. Repair work done. Where can I put you? Let's put you back in here. And hopefully that doesn't come off again anytime soon. All right. It is very small. It is, it is so small. Okay. I think what I need to do first actually is clean up my desk space a little bit. There's a, there's a lot of random paints lying around that I do not need to be lying around at this point. So let's tidy up just a little bit. Wordling! Yes, I know, right? Despite anything you might have heard, I am actually still alive. I am not dead yet. I know that's very disappointing for some people, but also suffer. <laughs> I, I really, really want to be playing Tears of the Kingdom right now. Like, I am this close, this close to just going, fuck y'all. I'm gonna go play Tears of the Kingdom. But I have work to do. <laughs> I've already skipped out on one week of streaming. I do not need to skip out on another week of streaming. You know, I have I have standards. They're very low standards, but I do have standards. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, but I do have standards. And missing two weeks of streaming in a row is um, not acceptable by my standards. Anyway, yes, so sorry, I'm just tidying up a little bit. So then I've got actual room to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, purple and blue. All right, blue goes there. Purple goes there. And the gray. All right, you can go next to the black templar. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right, you can go into a mini drawer with the rest of the minis. You. You are still useful. Where am I going to put you? Go okay, there for the moment. I really should have done this, you know, before starting stream, but I got distracted. You go with that one. I need to make sure I don't let you two get separated. So yeah, this is the base for the Eldar dude that comes with the, the Sisters of Battle chick. And I want to make a bigger 
display base for it, so. Hello, Spotty, hello, Hecatan. Yes, I'm forcing myself to be responsible today. Nice to decided not to abandon us for a second week. I'm glad you appreciate my kindness, Spotty. Oh, paint pot check. Yes, yes, my paint pots are checked. <laughs> you can fuck off. There we go. Oh, hydrate. Posture check, posture check, pretty good. All right, let me catch up with chat. <laughs> Not sure mine worked. What did I do wrong? Duel. D U E L. For a fight. Duel is two. No, the bot is on. It's just that you guys can't fucking type. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Alright. You. No, actually, that's the wrong box. Did I put that other box away? No, no those are my empties. I think. Yes, those are my empties. Boxes that still have things in them are over here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm figuring out what I want to do tonight. I think first thing I'll do is grab all the minis I need for Lewin's next batch of Death Guard and line them up here so I've got them in sight. I do find what's the problem. <laughs> Stern had a twink, yeah. Licks a power socket. Wordling, why are you licking the power sockets? And yes, thank you very much, Spotty, for giving Hekka that shout out. Yes, we are spelling it wrong. Ah. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right, all right. Oh, my desk is actually looking kind of tidy now after that little, little bit of um, organization. Get in there, you bastard. Get in there. There we go. All right, okay. I need my list. Chat is spicy today. Spotty, why are you eating drywall? At least have some class. You know, you can do much better than drywall. At least go like nibble on some supporting timber or something. Get some fiber in your diet. Drywall's just meh. Okay, give me a sec. What am I looking at? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, not there. I need I need my actual file, which is over in my other browser window. Fuck. Ah, that's annoying. No. Wait, yes. There we go. Okay, give me a sec. Death Guard Commission Spreadsheet. Alright, batch four. Let's see. Malignant Plague Caster. Tally Man. Seven Plague Marines, Plague Breast Hauler, and my Fiddic Blight Hauler. Okay, so the Plague Breast Hauler. Where did I put my Fiddic Blight Hauler? I think that's over here somewhere. Let's see. Gotta get the boys out. Okay, nope, those are the Terminators and. Lord Felthius, I don't need you guys just yet. I do need seven plague marines though, so let's grab a few of those. Do, do, do. Let's see. I believe. Oh, wait, is that the turn on? I think that's a tally man. And I think that's the other plague caster. That dude looks like a banner bearer. That dude's a HQ. That dude, I'm not sure, but that's okay. Alright. Where is that other bloody tank? Where did I put it? 
I can't remember when I should lose them until I fucking turn. Oh no, wait, there it is. Never mind. Crisis averted. Okay. So I got the Plague Dice Crawler, the Mephitic Blight Hauler, Tallyman, Malignant Plague Caster. Okay, need seven. Seven Plague Marines now. So I'll just grab a random seven. One, two, three, four. Hopefully those are all plague marines. Hmm. Seven. Seven plague marines for that one. So I'm just checking my list. I will check chat again in a minute. What have we got here? Oh, right, that's the other light drone. can stay here for the moment. I think I'll work on the tanks tonight. I need to confirm the infantry later, but tanks we can start on. Okay, there we go. Hello, Garonis! Cluttered desk is a sign of an uncluttered mind. What is a tidy desk sign of? A tidy desk is a sign of somebody who's like just too fucking anal or attentive. <laughs> sign of insanity. <laughs> Super duper sane. Desk looks like it was hit with a bomb. What do you mean you're meh, buddy? Um, anyway, all right, okay. Couple of gunplayer models. Ooh, nice. Battletech Max, and I know what I can do with. <laughs> I know that feeling. Not with a battle mech. Battle tech mech specifically, I don't actually have any battle tech mechs, but just too many minis to know what to do with. I definitely know that feeling. Don't do Warhammer anymore. That is fair and valid. Oh, I am. Down to the yellows. The yellows and the greens and the blues and the MMs. Alright. Mmm. When I went to get Tears of the Kingdom from EB. They had these as well. And because I'd picked up, oh, well, you know, because I'd spent money on Tears of the Kingdom, I managed to get this for like 10 bucks. It is an amazing Star Wars suit ball with a handle and a lid. The lid is amazing. So I am absolutely going to be using that for like soup or something at some point. Look at this. Chunky. Chunky. Anyway, either that or I'm going to use it to store blue, blue M&M's. <laughs> Alright, where is... Okay. And then I need... Uh, no, 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 no. Let's go... Don't want the bigger one or smaller one. We'll go... You? Yeah, we'll, we'll go you, I think. Maybe? I want to go bigger, actually. No, let's, let's go a bigger brush. Mmm, maybe not. Maybe not quite that big. Let's go. There we go. Memes and Discord. Battletech First Love. Nice. Headless Game Labs. Done outstanding job reviving the franchise. Oh, excellent, excellent. I've got one of the, what's it, Mech Warrior games on Steam. 
Um, I think it's the one with the, what's it? Your base ship is the Argus, I think. I still need to finish that game. I got to the point where it's like, this is, this is the last mission. If you accept this mission, you can't do anything else. And I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna accept that mission yet. I want to do some other stuff and finish upgrading my base ship before I do that final mission. And then I just never, never got back to it. But it's a good game. I do enjoy it. Um, what was I doing? I was gonna do something, and now I've forgotten what it was. Hairbrained schemes. Yeah, that that sounds about right. Hairbrain schemes. That that sounds familiar. I was gonna do something. Memes! That's what I was gonna do. <laughs> Brain. <laughs> oh no, is it opening in the wrong fucking browser window? It is opening in the wrong fucking browser window. God fucking damn it. Alright, give me a sec. I gotta sort my shit out again. That one. Okay, open the right browser window this time. You fucker! No, I. S okay, yes, you did. Wait, where did you go? Piss nuggets! Alright, there we go. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, I'm opening these memes to share, that's what I'm doing. Quality memes. Alright, oh, and we have... We're, Word Link, you showed us that picture, like... A few weeks ago, I think. I do, I do recognise that picture, I'm just not sure. But yes, I remember, I remember showing that picture. With the penguin boots. <laughs> and I'm not putting it up again. Mems, that's right. Yeah, that's the company put the game out and developer franchise. So many owners and licensees. Yeah, that's fair. Um, browser. Browser. I really hope I got the right browser. Let's find out. Yes, I did. Excellent. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much for feeding Mixie tacos. Ta Mixie appreciates taco time. <laughs> Dogs when they do something wrong. Guilty look. Cats and they did something wrong. <laughs> oh, is the meme showing now? Hopefully it's showing now. Why do you keep misspelling dual, wordling? <laughs> uh, is the meme showing now, Squid? Oh, I need more M&Ms. Hell yeah, Squid. You kick the crap out of wordling. You're seeing my mesh? Excellent. Mods are allowed to beat up each other, that's fine. That's that's how you that's how you as mods stay in shape. Excellent. Alright, let us move on with the memes. Wasn't prepared for the specificity with which Google answered this. How long does a cat hold a grudge? Sixteen hours. <laughs> That is very precise. I'm concerned. Oh, I'm also being bullied. All right. Yay! Suck its body. <laughs> All right. When you've just about my fucking had it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'd use those. I would probably hurt myself using them because I don't know how to use them properly, but I would I would use them. <laughs> Achoo! Bless you! We've talked about this. Sorry! I'll let it slide this time. Oh, thank God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, our neighbor died. Who, Ray? I don't think cheering is appropriate, Karen. <laughs> Big 
because reloading is stupid. That is very 40k. That is very, very Warhammer 40k. So, appropriate. <laughs> oh, wait, why is this one not showing? Did any. Okay, there we go. We have to stay in shape or we'll kill the bots. Exactly, exactly. I really hope the other memes showed because apparently my computer is being stupid tonight. But anyway. All right, let us... Wait, what am I doing? That button. That button. Okay. Spotty is challenging word link to a duel. It's good to see you guys keeping each other in shape. <laughs> I showed yours last time, word link. Ugh, fine. Fine. And just because... I'm feeling generous. I will show it again, even though I've shown it before. Just not tonight. They all did? Oh, excellent, excellent. Wow, I am lagging really badly tonight, apparently. Or you guys are really lagging tonight, I don't know. Anyway, yes, we are not taking the wizard. Still can't get over those penguin boots. No, I think you showed it to me, not necessarily last stream, maybe the stream before, but you have shown it to me. <laughs> it took me a hot second, the first time you showed it to me, to realize what the boots were made out of. I was like squinting at the boots going, what is going on there? And then suddenly it clicked and was like, oh, they're penguins. They're beheaded penguins. <laughs> But yes, you definitely need new material, weirdly. <laughs> you all need new material. I'm lagging so bad. Oof, yeah. It's it's the wombats. Squid, the wombats are being lazy again. Unacceptable behaviour, really. Unacceptable behaviour from the wombats. They need to get their shit together. Even if their shit is cubed shaped. You'd think that would make it easier for them to get their shit together because, you know, can, they can stack their little cube poops like bricks. There we go. Oh yeah, you were very glued. But anyway, yes, I have been very much enjoying Tears of the Kingdom for the past week. <laughs> it is uh, taking over my life, as expected. Um, you guys are very lucky that I decided to force myself to put it down for long enough to stream tonight. <laughs> Mittens! Mittens, it's mittens. But yeah, on, as soon as I have finished stream here tonight, I am immediately going straight back to playing Tears of the Kingdom. Like, there's a 50-50 chance I don't even bother rating. <laughs> we shall see, we shall see. Depends how lazy I'm feeling. Oh my gosh, come on. Why are you being so bastardly tonight? Maybe it's because it's too cold and it's gone all brittle. Anyway, how are you going, Mittens? I'm glad to see that you have survived your cons? Question mark? Ooh, Weirdling has been demoted to acquaintance. Ooh, that sounds like I've missed some drama. Or maybe I'm completely misreading the situation, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I'm amused. I guess there's cat noises. <clears throat> Please boop Tiger very gently on the snoot for me. Tiger deserves all the boops. Alright, let's get rid of all these. Go. 
There we go, that's better. That'll make it a bit easier to open that lid next time, because I was struggling for a minute there. Mittens ate a fly, and I felt bad for the fly. <laughs> <gasps> Spotty does not deserve a scree either. Oh wow. What have I been missing? Instead of being horrified with me, they pity the fucking fly. <sighs> I am horrified with you, mittens. Absolutely horrified. Ew. Oh, actually. What I need to do first, dust this fucker off. Yes, I have done one of these before for Lewin. I was just like, have I done a Plague Burst Crawler in this class game? And then I was like, yes, I have. I should probably pull that up for reference at some point. But, oh well. I drank a herbal tea and my solid thing came in my mouth at channel with fucking house. Oh no! <laughs> oh dear. Oh gosh. Yikes. Mom, there's a fly in my tea! So this is <gasps> Holy shit! Holy shit, it's a raid! I am not sucking up Spotty. I am merely showing appropriate amounts of sympathy to Mittens. Because Mittens deserves the sympathy. <gasps> Bug raid in. Welcome in everyone, welcome in. Thank you very much for that raid, Count Bug. Ooh, shout out was given to Count Bug, hello. Hello Alex, welcome in, welcome in. Um, yeah. Hello to everyone who's come in with Count Bugs Raid for anybody new here. G'day, I'm Skits. I customize and paint little plastic man dollies. Right now, I'm working on a Plague Burst Crawler as part of a big Death Guard army commission. Um, so at the moment, I'm dry brushing the black armor to pick out the edges in green. Because dry brushing this is a lot faster than doing all the edge highlights, you know, the, the regular way. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Do the things. We have a hydrate, we have a posture check, we have a breathe, we have a paint pot check. Got to go share on dinner? No worries, mittens. Not a problem. You go cleanse and feed. Come in the name of our emperor who definitely doesn't have four arms. Ah, I see you are a, a Tyranid follower. <laughs> Hello, Count Bug. Welcome in. Thank you very much for that raid. How was your stream tonight? What were you working on? Or playing, as the case may be. And if you're working on anything, do you have pictures? But yeah, tonight is just going to be mostly dry brushing um, all the edges for both this Plague Breast Crawler and a Mephitic Blight Hauler. So we're probably not going to get to see anything particularly interesting tonight, but you do get to see a hell of a lot of dry brushing with makeup brushes. Love the bugs going well on the internet. Oh no, bug stream broke. Ooh, Sister of Battle Dogmata, nice. Very cool. I've got, um, oh, what's her name? Sister Superior Amalia Novena. I actually assembled her yesterday. Um, but I don't know when I'll get around to painting her because I want to make a bit of a custom base for her first. Um, but I do have her. I think I've got another spare. Yes, I've also got the, um, the Sister Battle Lady who comes with the Eldar Twink as well. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. Always like Death Guard. Death Guard are awesome. If you like Death Guard, maybe you'll like my my own personal Death Guard color scheme. 
So the ones I'm working on right now are a commission, but this is my own Sponky Chonk Tonk, AKA what, Plague Breast Crawler. Um, googly eyes make everything better. Eldar, I think. Oh, to be fair, all Eldar are twinks. But yeah, so this is, this is my personal Death Guard color scheme. It's based on like iridescent beetle shells. Don't need a fourth army. <laughs> I, I mean, you only need, well, you need as many armies as you like. If you finish the other three armies, I see nothing wrong with getting a fourth army. Not that I can say anything, I've only got Thousand Sons and Death Guard personally, but that's because I'm too busy doing commission work and I don't bother playing the game anymore. But anyway, so yes, this is, this is Spunky. So that's my own Death Guard colour scheme. I've also got uh, uh, Bloaty McFloaterson and Scabby Nibbles as buddies for Sponky. Rule of cool means no armies in every army. Exactly. Rule of cool transcends any like actual gameplay rules. <laughs> Approval beetle color. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, the the iridescence is pretty much well. Most of the color scheme is basically just um, contrast paints over silver or wraith bone for the flesh. Um, the flesh is actually not contrast, the flesh is just seraphim sepia and druji violet combined. Or, well, not mixed but layered. I really like doing flesh that way. Actually, was it? No, it might have actually been. Um... Oh, one of the contrast pinks. Volip. Not the lips pink. One of the purples. Magus purple. It might have been Magus purple and Seraph Sepia. Either way. Either way. <laughs> I like too many armies. Took me over a year to decide on a second army. That's fair. That is fair. Ooh. And I've got this dude as well. I cut out the um, tank glass there. Put in some skulls and filled it with resin. And then the resin kind of flattened, unfortunately, so I need to do another lot of resin at some point, but I couldn't be bothered, so... Oh well. I've got a few others as well, but I couldn't be bothered digging them out. They're in a different drawer. But yes. Rule of cool means no armies in every army. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Anyway, back to... Dry brushing. I'm going to end up with so much paint on me instead of the minis when it comes to all this dry brushing. But that's okay. So I'm starting off with a darker green and then once I've gotten all this darker green done I will go back in with a smaller makeup brush and dry brush in lighter green highlights with this green. Um, I don't actually have any of these guys finished here at the moment because I just mailed off the last batch to my client. But if you check out my Instagram or Facebook or whatever, you'll be able to see um, the rest of this army that I've done so far. Follow my lead. Why are you not? Oh, thank you very much for that follow, Alex. Welcome to the bits box. Oh yes, I also did do the paint pot check. I checked my paint pots. This is the only one open right now. <laughs> They're also cool. Love this kid's color mix. Oh, thank you. Got a full unbuilt custodes army. Ooh, unbuilt imperial knight army. Ooh, Tyranid army tenth edition. Yeah, I've I've seen some of the new um, Tyranid models that they brought out with the last what was it the announcement or the warhammer fest whatever thing i don't actually pay a super um, amount of attention to gw news anymore but i am vaguely aware that new tyranids uh, were announced and from what i've heard they're pretty cool
That new starter box looks so good. Ooh, 74 minis. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, come on. Well, Custode's army is pretty easy to paint at least. Just prime them with gold primer. And then hit them with a Drucci Violet Wash and you're pretty much done. <laughs> well, prime the gold primer, pick out all the red. And then the Drucci Violet Wash. Because Drucci Violet goes really well over red as well as gold. It is my preferred wash for most colours. Not a big fan of Nuln Oil. I find Nuln Oil gets overused a lot. And it tends to desaturate and muddy a lot of colours. Nuln Oil is good for like silver or metals in general. But I don't put Nuln Oil over actual colours for the most part. Cause it's just it just makes them look manky. I'm not a fan of manky. But to each their own, you know, everybody's got their own personal tastes and styles and stuff, and that is okay. Oh, this tank is gonna take me forever, but that's alright. It is still not gonna take me as long as Spunky Chomp Tonk, Tonk did. That uh, iridescent plague breast crawler. Took me a month. <laughs> a full month of streaming to get him painted up. It was worth it, but it's a lot of time. Because all those um all those colours take several layers. Especially the Aethermatic blue. Because it is such a thin contrast paint, it takes like five layers to actually build up enough colour with it. But anyway, yeah, I've been playing um, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom since Friday when it came out. And I am very much enjoying that game. Like, it is definitely a worthy um, successor to Breath of the Wild. And I have a sneaking suspicion that as soon as I finish this first playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom, I'm just going to turn around and start a second playthrough. Except this time I'm going to actually remember to load one of my uh, previous Breath of the Wild saves that was actually 100% because before Tears of the Kingdom came out, I was like, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play Breath of the Wild in master mode. But I didn't actually end up finishing that master mode game before Tears of the Kingdom came out. So... I want to see if there's any difference to the game if I um, play it after loading up my 100% Breath of the Wild save. So we shall see, we shall see. I keep getting sidetracked away from the main quest because there's so many side quests and like exploration stuff and other bits and pieces. It's amazing, I love it. I love all the exploration. and, and um, all the characters and everything. Dry brushing is one of my favorite things. I love me a good dry brush. Although I'm having to keep my dry brushing very light because I'm only wanting it really on the edges. I don't want any, or I don't want too much green on the actual flat parts. So I'm having to like use only a minimum amount of paint and then really work it to get it onto the edges. So this is going to take a bit. That's all right. Oh. Also Super Excited Skulls 2023 showing Space Marine 2 stuff. Ooh. I'm really I, I I played Space Marine once and only once because it's one of the games that makes me like massively motion sick. Um, so I'm I'm kind of proud that I managed to get through it even that that one time, and I'd like to replay it, but it just does my brain in. So I'm hoping Space Marine Two has more camera options and stuff so I can 
maybe set it up so it doesn't make me like want to puke <laughs> or give me massive headaches. We shall see. But yeah, there was one time I was playing Space Marine, the first game, the multiplayer one, with some friends, and we were on voice chat at the same time. And because it does make me motion sick, um, they were like, all right, let's try something. We're all gonna go Devastator with Laz Cannons. And then, Skits, close your eyes, and we are going to direct you through the map via the voice chat. And they did, and it was fucking amazing. I was playing this game with my eyes closed because I didn't have to like actually look at anything. I was just going, you know, following my friends going, okay, left, left, right, r stop, stop, for now, stomp. <laughs> it was, it was stupidly good fun. I miss stuff like that. But everybody's gotten too busy these days. Not enough time to do shit like that anymore. Alas. Anyway, we're making progress. We're starting to separate the areas of green from the areas of not green. Slowly, slowly. Ugh. Kind of wishing this wasn't fully assembled, but oh well, that's how I got it. That's what I've got to work with. Alright, where was I? Um, oh, you know what? I, you know the other 40k game I miss. I used to play a lot of um, Dawn of War: Last Stand with my friends. I had a max level Chaos Sorcerer in Last Stand. And he was very fun to play. And I think I was working on leveling a couple of the other characters, but I can't remember which ones they were. Probably the Space Marine. The Space Marine Captain. Um, but yeah, that was a fun, fun little multiplayer game. I missed that one. Oh well. So what have you all been up to this week? Has anybody else been playing Tears of the Kingdom? If so, what the fuck are you doing here and why aren't you playing it right now? <laughs> Plans to get a bio titan. Ooh, recently I haven't had a built in the name. I haven't used resin to buy it. I wouldn't have the money for this army. Oof, yeah. Yeah, resin, resin can be a bit finicky if you're not used to it. Like, the parts don't always fit together very well. So. Oh, thank you very much for feeding Mixie. Mixie appreciates the steak. Om nom nom steak. Oh no, I want steak. Ooh, I think there's leftover sausages in the fridge. Maybe I'll have a sausage after dinner. Not after dinner, after stream. Maybe I'll have a sausage after stream. What did we have for dinner? What did I have for dinner? Ooh, rice and stir fry. That's what I had for dinner. I had rice and stir fry. And pork belly with crackling. Which is very nice. It was good crackling too. Hope Nids get their own night equivalent. Have needed it for a long time. Oof, yeah. Zelda or steak? Ooh, Zelda. Well, actually, okay, so what I'm probably gonna end up doing after stream is I'm gonna shut down my computer and I'm gonna run upstairs, eat a cold sausage out of the fridge, and then run back downstairs, get into bed, and play Zelda until I pass out. <laughs> Oh, actually, no. Amendum. I'm going to eat a cold sausage and also make myself a hot Milo. 
and then <laughs> then I will retreat to bed and play Zelda for the rest of the night. But in the meantime, I am... You can't have both. You can't stop me, weirdly. I would like to see you get between me and a steak or Zelda. I will flatten you. You can't stop me from having both. <laughs> there is not a power in the world that could stop me from having both. But if I really, really, absolutely had to choose between a steak and Zelda, I'd go play Zelda. I can always have a steak another time. I'm not super food motivated. Why are you not catching on the edges that I want you to actually catch on, you bastard? Yes, come join us in the Discord. We're not super active there, but that's okay. It just means there's, you know, not too much to have to uh, keep up with. Mostly just sharing mini whips and memes. And it's also where I announce whether or not I'm streaming. <laughs> well, I, I announce if I'm not streaming. I don't bother announcing when I am streaming because that does thing that the thing does it automatically for me anyway. But yes, come join the Discord. We have fake cookies. <laughs> or something, I don't know. We have sinful worms. Sinful worms. So many worm emojis. I am going to have to find photos of the other Plague Burst crawl I did for this army so I can remember what the fuck sections I did what colours. Because otherwise I'm not going to remember by myself. But that's okay. That's why I take photos. <laughs> Nerdhala! Hello Nerdhala, how are you going? How are you this fine fabulous fucking Friday? What are you all up to this week? Or this weekend? This weekend, since it's Friday. What have you all got planned for the weekend? BRB? No worries. Working on my garden, cleaning the house. Ooh! You will have... A nice clean house and an awesome garden when you're done. That is good things. Excellent things, even. Oh, this tank was fully assembled when I got it. Uh, now I'm going to bitch about it. <laughs> but that's okay, Lewin's not here to hear me bitching, so... Bitch, 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 bitch. <laughs> ah, it's all good means I get to be a little bit lazy. Well, let's not forget. Let's not forget all these little pock marks as well. Oh, no, not that much. Hmm, might need a smaller. Oh no, there we go. Some of these edges I will have to come back with a smaller brush and pick them out individually, but that's okay. That is for the highlight colour, not this colour. Working in my garden. Whoop, yep. Yeah. For some reason I thought I hadn't read that one, I actually already had. Oopsies! Oh well. I need to not sit with my legs crossed. Ah, my kneecaps. Ah. Oh, let me.
let us hydrate. Have a little bit of a snacky snack. Picking out the yellow M&Ms from my M&M bucket at the moment. That'll do for now. Oh, I just said I should not cross my legs and then what do I do? Cross my fucking legs. Oh well. Welcome back, welcome back. Fucking dust and cobwebs. Bullshit. Fucking spiders. These booters get in everywhere. Now in the Discord. Excellent, excellent. Welcome to the Discord. If you've ever got any work in project or even finished mini pictures that you feel like sharing, you can always dump them in the Discord. I am always very keen to see what other people have been working on. Um, we also have a pet box for sharing photos of your pets. I love to see other people's pets. A um, whole bunch of other boxes for other stuff. They're all pretty self-explanatory. Yes. We are very cat-like here, as everything goes in boxes. If we fits, we sits. <laughs> we even have a box for boxes. <laughs> oh, and uh, the clam box is actually for uh, Twitch clips. <laughs> There, there is a reason it's called the clam box. It's not a very self-explanatory reason. And I don't feel like explaining it. <laughs> We're making progress, making progress. Getting close to done with the this initial pass of green on the t on the um, plague breast crawler, and then I get to do it on the mythic light crawler as well. <gasps> Post boxes in box. Let's have a look at the boxes in box. Let's check out the boxes. <gasps> that is many boxes. Hell yeah! Nice. That's a lot of titans. I want those titans. <laughs> Yes, welcome in to the Discord. They are Night Titans. Imperial Night Titans. They are lit. They're, yes, they're Titans. They're very small Titans. They're little itty bitty baby Titans, but they're still Titans. Some of them. Some of them. <laughs> Notification. Sorry. Oh. Give me a sec. Oh yeah, I also I got myself a Fitbit <laughs> last week, um, which is enlightening. My Fitbit judges me.
Alright, there we go. Sorry, I just had to message somebody. Anyway, where was I? What was I doing? Knights are different thing, Titans are crew pilots, knights are one side, they're all different. Fair, fair, fair. I just keep hearing them called Imperial Knight Titans. So to me, they're sort of they're 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 still in the like Titan class, even if they're a little bit different. They're mini Titans, they're baby Titans. I reject your reality and substitute my own. <laughs> Night's no, cool. Let's take time's bad for rest. Ah, okay. Yes. All right. That that distinction makes sense. I do actually have a um a resin Imperial Knight Titan <laughs> that I got second hand off somebody else, and I still don't know if I want to do it up properly as a Knight Titan or turn it into terrain <laughs> just to make people cry adeptus mechanicus militarum titanicus night houses wow that's a mouthful but yeah yeah i've got a i've got a resin imperial knight titan and one day i'll decide what to do with it there's a 50 50 chance i just turn it into terrain because I'm a troll like that. <laughs> and I did not spend that much money on that particular one. I've also got a regular plastic uh, Imperial Knight that I started customizing and then got distracted and never actually finished. So maybe one day I'll get back to that as well. Knights, many little titans, not many. I mean, one could argue that the Dark Angels are medieval, and yes, Dark Angels are neither knights nor titans, but still classifying by some, classifying something by whether or not it's like medieval flavored is. Quickly, Twirling says, "Spotty, does uh. Tiger ever go meow, 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 meow?" <sighs> Weird link. Yeah. Weird Lang, oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. You're gonna make Squid Maybe. so sad. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Mixie, for your text to speech limit. The the um, audio of the repeating meow actually fucks with um, squids. Tinnitus, I think. Either that or just audio issues. Um, but I don't know if Squid's actually here right now. But yeah, no, the the repeating meow thing is is not great for Squid's um audio stuff. Um, anyway, where was I? What was I talking about? Where did I put my Imperial Knight that I was working on? Is it in this drawer? No, it's not in that drawer. I've put it away somewhere. Hmm. Oh well. I will find it eventually when I decide I actually want to work on it again. Finish reposing the legs making the base. I'm not gonna read out your message for you, weirdling. <laughs> I get why people get the normal knight confused with the Warlord Titan. Mmm. Although, honestly, my favorite Titans are the Warhounds. I love the Warhounds. They're adorable. Warhounds, so cute. With their little puppy heads. I'm not reading out all those meows for you, Wordling. You don't pay me enough. <laughs> 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 
Damn it, that's what I was gonna do before stream. Fuck. Oh well, next time. Next time. Hopefully I'll remember next time. I'm not gonna remember next time. But that's alright. I'll remember eventually. Around 30, 40 feet tall, Warhound, Titan is 58, Warlord, Titan, 108. I wish I was actually familiar enough with Imperial measurements to be able to like visualize those numbers, but I can't. <laughs> I have no idea how tall any of those are. If the measurements were in meters, I'd have a slightly better chance of sort of um, guesstimating the sizes. But feet? I have no idea. All I know about feet and inches is that I am apparently about 5 foot 10. And that six foot is not actually two meters, which is very disappointing. That's a lot of feet. I know, right? That is that is an insane amount of feet. That's that's enough feet to make a, a centipede uh, envious. Ooh, excuse me. All right. Have I gotten all the areas I need green so far? Word only says the word Jude is used 161 times in the movie The Big Lebowski. <laughs> There's a random fact for you, Wordly. What brings what brings that fact on? Any particular reason for sharing that? I mean, I appreciate you sharing that. I don't think I've ever actually seen that movie. I have no idea what that movie's even about. I'm not much of a movie buff. Unfortunately. Looked up the most boring facts in the world. <laughs> Fair. Fair. I appreciate you sharing the most boring facts in the world with us. But who decides... Who decides whether or not they're the most boring facts? Like... That feels very subjective. One person's boring is another person's, you know, hyperfixation. You know what? I need to remember to actually do the guns as well. I forgot the guns existed. <laughs> Even though I'm, you know, struggling to paint around the guns, I was just like, I don't need to. No, no, I do need to. Why do you have so many spikes? Why do you have so many fucking spikes? Okay, guns. <clears throat>
goes in. I think there's a metallic and a different metallic. Mm, anyway. Take some drilling to find the most boring flags. <sighs> I mean, drilling is boring. But, oh, what's the one that's riveting? Bolts are riveting? I can't remember. Fuck. But yes, drilling, drilling is rather boring. But fastening stuff together is riveting. There we go. I got there eventually. <laughs> Did I dig up this pun topic though, Weirdling? Did I? Really? That's a grave circumstance. It is indeed a very grave circumstance, Weirdling. I'm not good at coming up with puns myself. I just have to suffer them. I can't adequately inflict puns back at you because I just, I can't come up with them. At least not fast enough to, you know, be worth anything. Oh well, I will just have to make sure that you guys are entertained by my suffering instead. Ah, oh, the sacrifices I make for you. the shit I put up with on this stream in the name of entertainment you fuckers <laughs> dirt <laughs> thank you very much spotty for your uh, compelling contribution there the first rule of holes if, if you find yourself in a hole stop digging the second rule of being in a hole even once you stop digging you are still in a hole. <laughs> anyway, all right. I think that's enough for the first pass of green on, on this sponky chonk tonk. Well, no, this is not sponky. Sponky is a very specific chonk tonk. This is a different chonk tonk. I don't know what this chonk tonk's name is. But that's all right. Oh, hang on. Let's get the big brush first. Dust this off a bit. Just okay. Yeah, there is a little bit of dust there. We do not need any of this dust getting caught in the dry brushing. Fucking spooters! Oh, I'm gonna have to pay it base coat that fucking skin oh that's going to be painful oh well that's where the stuffering comes in dirt well i mean you don't want to like muddy the topic too much <gasps> hello lady b how are you going what are you up to this fine fabulous fucking friday I'm actually getting very cold. This is not ideal, but that's all right. But yeah, how are you going? Super excited to see Brannigan paint the tank and color scheme. Ooh, hell yeah. Brannigan. Can I say there's the right fucking weird channels on Twitch? I fell into an AI <laughs> Gonna paint some minis soon? Ooh, nice! Which minis are you gonna be painting? I am currently working on um, Death Guard Army Commission at the moment. But I'll tell you what, after stream, I am going right back to playing fucking Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Because I got that game on Friday and it is devouring my entire everything. Like, I was very close to just not streaming again tonight <laughs> but no i decided that i i should not brush off stream two weeks in a row 
So here I am. <laughs> Got some chibis with 3D printed for me. My husband wants to do any finishing. Ooh, hell yeah, chibis! If you've got any like whip photos or anything, feel free to chuck a chuck a link in the in the chat. <gasps> Flynn! Hello, Flynn! It's a Flinny Winnie, my favourite tiny horse. There's also Jesus Hot Tub stream. <laughs> Not any recent ones? Well, sad face. Well, you are going to have to pop back in when they're finished and share finished pictures of them with us. Jesus hot tub stream. Well, I, I, mm. Ah! Like, hot tub streams, yes, I, I, I can understand hot tub, hot tub streams in general existing, but, oh, that hurts my brain. That hurts my brain. Anyway, how are you all doing? Oh, my hands are cold. Yep, okay, okay. It's getting cold enough that I need to put my fuzzy robe on. Wait, where's the sleeve? Okay, yes, I did actually get the sleeve hole. Yay, sleeve hole, yay. Ah, oh, oh no, I'm stuck. AI Jesus stream hurts brain more. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. Like, if it's AI Jesus, you know, I can, I can see, I can see how that would work, kind of, a little bit. But Jesus in a hot tub. That's that's the bit that I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand people. People people hurt my brain. It's a cutout. Oh Jesus. Why? <laughs> Why? I don't understand it. Wait, is it just a cutout of Jesus in an actual hot tub or is it a cutout of Jesus in a cutout of a hot tub? Like no, I, you know what? I don't want to know. I don't. I don't need details. Ooh. Um. Yeah, just chuck them in general. I think I don't. We don't really have a, a specific lore box. Um, either general or art, depending on whether you think it's more art than just general info. Ooh, yeah, mental health struggles. I know the feeling. Well, hopefully you start doing better soon. Or are doing better. Hopefully you are doing better. But, uh, yeah, I definitely, definitely understand that whole... Just... Not. <laughs> there have definitely been times where I'm like, mm, you know what, I'm just... Don't want to do anything today. Both in general? Sweet. Alright. Oh, why is my nose so fucking itchy? Every time I stream. Every time I stream, my nose gets itchy. And I don't understand why. Ooh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, the Grey Knight Baby Walker. <laughs> Ooh, Thunderhawk. And one of the Bio Titans. Very cool, very cool. I do like those comparison pictures. Ah. No, is it just because I'm meant Stop booping my snoot! <laughs> Stop booping it! Stop booping! Stop booping my snoot! I mean, I appreciate the boop, the snoot boops, but also. Ah! Itchy! <laughs> Tiger wants to make his presence known. No. Say hello to Tiger for me, please, Spotty. Let Tiger know that he is loved. What got you into Death Guard and Thousand Sons? Um, Thousand Sons were my first army. Thousand Sons are actually my only real army. 
um, I got into the Thousand Suns because of the novel and I just kind of fell in love with the Tragic Muscle Wizards because, you know, the Tragic Muscle Wizards were fucked over by everybody, including Magnus. Magnus did so many things wrong. I love the Thousand Suns and Magnus was a moron. <laughs> Um, I have Death Guard just because I was getting the Conquest magazine subscription and I wanted to experiment with the contrast paints when they came out and my Death Guard just happened to be a convenient reason to experiment with the contrast paints. The plan is for my Death Guard army, if I ever actually finish it, <laughs> I want to do a nice little armies on parade display board for them and then see if I can sell them. Because I'm not actually interested in the Death Guard army myself per se, but they are fun minis to paint. Tragic Muscle is an apologist. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are there are worse armies to be apologists for, like Space Wolves. <laughs> um. So yeah, Thousand Suns are my true love. Death Guard are just there because they're fun to paint. Um, I haven't really done a lot with the Thousand Suns lately though, so and I've also got a mix of both the blue post-Heresy Thousand Suns and the red pre-Heresy Thousand Suns. Um, so it's a bit of a mismatch. I don't think that my Thousand Suns army will ever actually be like finished. Especially since I no longer, you know, play the game anymore, so it's just like, oh these are cool minis. These would be cool minis to go into my Thousand Sons army. So it's probably just going to end up being mostly characters at this point. I couldn't be bothered doing a load of Thousand Sons troops. Skits is evil and made me feel bad with Thousand Sons and Death Guard was pure spy. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Um, and this this Death Guard army that I'm working on right now is actually just commission commission work um, because I like getting paid. <laughs> but yes, I am evil. I am 100% evil. Absolutely diabolical, even. No remorse, no regrets. Yeah. I do enjoy working on this Death Guard army. It's a different um, painting style than I usually do, so it's nice to mix it up every now and then. Main reason I want a knight equivalent nid so I can have a big bug fight my big zombie robots. The only way the word bearers would be my favourite legion, Spotty, is if you're talking about favourite legion to absolutely fucking murder. Because I do not like the word bearers in the slightest. Except as basing material. <laughs> Spotty is full of lies and deceit and you should never listen to anything Spotty says because he will he just he just tells lies he gets he gets on the internet and he tells lies <laughs> Spotty is multiple cats in a trench coat and he is full of sin and not to be trusted in the slightest <laughs> he also bullies me relentlessly it's shameful behavior from my mod Quite frankly, shameful. <laughs> but that's okay. I still appreciate a spottiest shark. Oh wait, is the face not attached? Oh, that's not actually attached. Oh sweet! <gasps> can I actually disassemble this bastard? Ah, oh, I can. Oh, that's gonna make things so much easier. Fuck yes. <laughs> Pieces. 
Also, that did not get time properly. Oh well, doesn't matter. I'll be going over that with base paints anyway, so it's fine. I'm back when Erebus killed Argotel, Logitol can't kill Erebus. I'm not even going to act like Erebus. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much, nobody liked Erebus. Like, Erebus is the reason why nobody in 40k can have nice things. The entire Horus Heresy is 100% Erebus's fault to start with. Like, everybody else, you know, contributed by making very, very poor life decisions, but the ultimate blame lies with Erebus. Also, Argyle Tal. I really liked Argyle Tal as a character. And I was really disappointed that Karn did not actually succeed in murdering the shit out of Erebus. Poor Argyltail deserved so much better than being a fucking word bearer. Reading that book in the lunchroom at work and then both that and Karen Resin was definitely like, stop talking. <laughs> I'm glad you were alone down there. I'm glad nobody else was in the lunchroom with you to witness your rage. Flynn. <laughs> that would have been funny as hell. Argyle Tal was so cool, even the custodes liked him. Yeah, exactly! Argyle Tal was just a good dude. He was a good dude. And then Erebusy went and murdered him. And everything went to shit. <laughs> kill him, kill him, kill him. <laughs> I, I, I really hope that none of your um, staff, not staff, patients heard you. Spottiest Shark says Erebus did nothing wrong. Erebus did everything wrong. Body. Erebus did so many things wrong. Erebus did all the things wrong. Yeah, I really fucked up priming this side. What the hell? Oh well, that's alright. That will get covered with metallics. That will all get base coated with grey seer. It's fine. A little annoying, but otherwise... Erebus was murdered as a child. If only! Tragic backstory is all well and good, but that does not excuse, excuse the atrocities. If I've forgotten what I was talking about, it must not have been that important. So, what should I talk about now? And that's the real question. <laughs> Flynn, 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 don't forget the sustenance today.
Oh, Flynn, you have been challenged to a duel by Wordling. I will try, have a bag home now. <laughs> well, at least the criminal Kepri will not starve anytime soon. Yeah, the there's a um, um, a duel function here, so you can go exclamation mark duel somebody, and then they can accept or deny the duel, um, and you can duel for points if you really want to. Not everybody does, but it's a fun little thing where my mods pick on me relentlessly. There you go. You have been challenged to a duel, Alex. You can type exclamation mark accept or exclamation mark deny to indulge Wordling's penchant for violence, penchant for violence, or you know, deny him. Ooh, Flynn. Question: Is garlic bad for dogs? That is a good question. I have no idea. Yay! Great success, Alex. Congratulations on winning your first duel here. Weirdling, that's what you get for picking on the newbies. You bully. What do you mean, rude weirdling? You're the one who picked the fight in the first place. You're the rude one, weirdling. <laughs> you bully. Oh, thank you very much, Flynn, for that um, public service announcement. In small amounts, garlic is fine for dogs. A lot of treats might have small amounts of garlic. Large amounts can be a problem. Do not give garlic or onions to cats. And don't give onions to dogs. Good to know. Good to know. Is it cats or dogs or both that can't that shouldn't eat grapes? I don't know why that came to mind, but yeah. Known thing in dogs, grapes and raisins, cod, fit kidney failure. Oof, yeah. Warn to avoid that in your pets. And I know that lilies are fatal to cats. So if you've got cats, do not ever let lily flowers into your house. <gasps> oh no, I am being bullied. I am being bullied. Ha! I have defended my honor. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> It's fine. Deal me enough and sooner or later you'll win. I don't actually win that, that many duels. I get bullied too much. Bullied relentlessly by my mods who just love picking on me. Lilies are cats. Yeah, yeah, lilies, lilies are very, very bad news for our little feline fronds. Oh, uh, I'm being bullied again. Uh, ha! Take that.
that's what you get for picking on me. <laughs> the assaults are relentless and never ending. <laughs> Fuck. You know what I forgot to do? Never mind. I'm just going to ignore. Oh, I need to do black down there. Crap. Alright. It's up to you, weirdling. <laughs> Don't encourage weirdling to bully me. He doesn't need any encouraging. One of the things I like about using makeup brushes is that I, I can be as rough as I want with them and it's not going to make any discernible difference. <gasps> Chicken soup! Paint vigorously! Worms like it vigorous. The annoying thing is I'm still gonna have to do more green after this and maybe I should just switch brushes instead of trying to clean this one out. Oh well. Doesn't hurt to occasionally clean your dry brushes out anyway. Although trying to dry this again is going to be a little irritating, but oh well. Oh well. Oh, I'm being bullied again. Being bullied once more. Three fights in a row. I'm doing nicely tonight. <laughs> this is what you get for picking on me. Alright. That'll do for now. Such violence. Such unmitigated violence against my person. <laughs> Alright, do I have any yellow M&Ms left or am I all down to the blue and the green? Looks like I am down to the blue and green. Excellent, time to eat green M&Ms. <laughs> Being bullied again? Damn it. Well, congratulations on your 420 bits. Body. dice. <laughs> oh, you only have 330 bits. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to bet a smaller amount. Alright. Mm -hmm. What else do 
see it's blackening up. Mm. Curse you, stream elements! <laughs> Flynn, you're being challenged with your... Ugh. Yeah, channel points and stream points. They're, they're different things. The channel points are... Wait, I actually don't remember which one's channel points, which one's stream points. But one of them is googly eyes, one of them is skits bits. Skits bits. The googly eyes are the Twitch specific points. The skits bits are the stream element points. Um, and it's the stream elements skits bits points that gets used for the dueling. The googly eyes get used for the Twitch specific rewards. Um, so yeah, if you click on the googly eyes, it should pop up a little thing where you can like redeem um, stuff. Flynn might be AFK getting ready for work. I'm not sure. But it's about that time of day for them. There we go, now, now you can bully Spotty. Please do bully Spotty. Spotty needs more bullying. <laughs> there we go, Spotty, you are being challenged to a duel. Last I checked, Prospero was pretty cool. Ugh, Spotty, you are a terrible person. You are a bad man. And you are an even worse man for robbing poor Alex of all their bits. How dare you, Spotty? How dare? Rude and inconsiderate. Unacceptable behaviour. Unacceptable mod behaviour. Oh, now I've got to dry out the dry brush so I can dry brush with it again. Okay, there we go. Oh, welcome back, mittens. Ooh, hot coca. Oh, I'm jealous. Thank you very much, Weird Link, for your generosity to. Oh, weirdling. You were so generous and then you lost the rest of all your bits. Oh, sad face. <laughs> Saddest of faces. Karma was not your friend there, weirdling. But that's okay. I'm sure you will get your bits back eventually.
All right. I was attacked. I like the horn dead on that Nexus kit, just not on the model. What? I'm so confused, Weirdling. I have no idea what you're actually saying there. Spotty, Spotty, why are you being such a bully tonight? Is it because I haven't done Stream Raiders? I completely forgot Stream Raiders existed. Should we, should we, should we be starting up Stream Raiders tonight? Or could we not be bothered? I don't know if I could be bothered. <laughs> Rigged! Oh, being challenged again. So much violence in the air tonight. <laughs> I guess I'm just the kind of stream that encourages violence. Alas, alas and woe. <laughs> there we go, congratulations Alex, hell yeah. Well, I guess dueling isn't technically actually murder. You know, it's just dueling. Nobody generally dies. Usually. All right. I think just about done with the green. Where's my knife? <gasps> Cat related video, music box, copyright music, check out the stream. Will do, Mittens, will do. Thank you very much. Fingers crossed I remember to do so. How did you get black primer on there and yet nowhere else around? Wow, that's really weird. shouldn't actually be putting these back on just yet, but oh well. There we go. Not fully on, but that's alright. I don't want it fully on at this point. I just want to make sure I've gotten all the green areas. Oh, no. I need to finish this bit. Bollocks! Spotty has done nothing but bully our new follower and bully me and steal people's points. No, this part. This is the section I wanted. Oh, Mittens, you have been challenged to a duel. There we go, accepted. Mittens, congratulations on your win. Minus points, buddy. <laughs> Spotty deserves all the minus points for being multiple cats in a trench coat for the crimes. Push 
push that on too hard just yet. I won't be able to take it off again later, but okay, alright. That's all of that green done for now. Oof! Flying down with points. <laughs> That's what happens to bullies. Exactly, exactly. Bullies never prosper. Alright, reusing the soap that I've already got here. No point getting new soap when I've got soap here. That still works. Cleanse the brushy brushes. Cleanse. Cleanse. Now the question is, do I do the highlighting on the green edges at this point or do I start base coating other colours? I might actually start base coating other colours just in case I get anything on the black areas and I need to tidy it up. I don't want to have to redo highlights later when I can just leave them till last anyway. Hmm. All right. Do I do? Someone offered me a temporary full-time job for two, three months. Great pay. Oh, nice. Get to play games at work. Excellent. Hell yeah. Steal that pillow. Excellent. That sounds like a very cool gig, Mittens. Very, very cool. Are you playtesting games again? <laughs> I reckon, I reckon you take it. Why not? If nothing else, you get something that you can put on your resume for future work. You know, and maybe make some more contacts, do the networking thing, earn a bunch of money to save, or, you know, treat yourself, whatever. Trying to figure out which one I want to work on. Hmm. And like, if it's only for two or three months, you know, you're not really losing anything by taking it. Luminous will suffer though. I'm sure your client will understand. And if he has a problem with that, you can just go, well, pay me more money. <laughs> if it's only for a few months, I'm sure you'll be fine with it. Toby. So yeah, honestly, I'd take it. I would take it. All right. Okay. <sighs> I am going to suffer and start base coating this flesh with grace here. Ugh. Offer from Larian. Um, is Larian, what like, I don't actually know who or what Larian is. <laughs> I'm assuming it's the company that you did the playtesting for beforehand. But yeah, man, if they're, if they're offering you a gig, then they obviously liked your your place testing or whatever enough. Ah, oh, Larian Studios. Hush hush. I remember nothing. I know nothing. But yeah, you know what? I'd take it. If they like you enough, to be making the offer in the first place. That's an opportunity that probably shouldn't be passed up. And yeah, if it's only a few months, you know, you're not committing to anything long term. 
but you're also getting your foot in the door there for future opportunities. Which is a good thing, especially in uh, current times. Commission work is nice, but it's not exactly reliable. All it takes is, you know, your your favorite client having some kind of medical emergency or something and suddenly that dries up. <laughs> um, it's Friday. It's Friday. Word thing. It's not Sunday. It's Friday. Why would you do that to me? Objective complete, two kilos stolen. Excellent, excellent. I remember correctly where Wordling lives. I remember nothing. I don't remember where anybody lives. <laughs> that sounds too much like work. Sounds too much like work. Uh, I think I need some medium and my stirring stick. No, you are not my Lamy medium. Where is my Lamy medium? Are you Lamy medium? There we go, Lamy and medium. All right. Let's moisten you a little bit. <laughs> Alright, where is my stirring stick? There you are. You do not live in London, Spotty. I know that much. <laughs> Mum didn't even notice. Excellent. Excellent. That's what you want when you're doing a bit of a thieving. Okay, there was not actually as much paint in this pot as I thought there was. Oh well! I'm just gonna have some very, very, very thin grease here tonight. That's okay. Worst comes to worst, I think I've got a new pot of grease here somewhere. But this should be fine. I'll just have to do a couple more coats than normal, probably. That's alright. There we go. Okay, we'll give that a bit of a shake. Once I wipe this off. Wordling, when are you not causing problems on purpose? Like, you are always causing problems on purpose. That's that's the entire point. Seven pillows, nice. Seven is a good number of pillows. How many pillows do I usually have? Two, three, four. I, I've, got, I've got five pillows in my bed at the moment. Two of them are nice boomerang pillows. I like the boomerang pillows. Oh, I'm being bullied again. I am being assaulted. Oh, Wordling, you are ready. There we go. I was like, why does that, why is that not accepting? I'm like, no, no. Wordling's already busy dueling Spotty. Cannot duel me until Spotty has been bullied. Did I shake that? I did not. There we go. And bloosh, bloosh, bloosh. Oh, it moist. It sounds very moist. Where is my spare grace here? Ah, there you are, I think. Yes, excellent. I might need you later. My bed is my battle station. Nice. My bed, my bed is where I play um, my Switch, <laughs> which is excellent in this cooler Aussie winter weather right now. I get to play Tears of the Kingdom all nice and cozy in bed. It is decadent. Okay, yeah, I definitely put a little too much medium in there, but you know what? That's actually all right. I'm okay with this. Just 
I've definitely made my grace here thinner, so I'm going to have to do at least one more coat, but it's making it a lot easier to actually paint, so I'm alright with this. Not having to worry about it getting all gluggy and chunky. Oh, let's make sure I'm sitting up. I don't need to be slouching, that is terrible for my poor spine. Ugly teenage phase of mini painting. Tiger's left, but Pia has returned. Yay, Pia! Gotta go paint more kangaroos, gonna be taking the job. Oof. Sounds like a plan, Mittens. Just, uh... Take care of your, your wrists and your arms. Wordling says by Skid Spitz today, part of a healthy and nutritional breakfast. Remember to Al. <laughs> remember to Al. Remember to put always. Remember to always put the milk. In the I put the cereal in the bowl first and then add the milk. Who adds the milk to their bowl first before the cereal? What kind of psychopath do you need to be? to put the milk in the bowl first. What the hecky? <laughs> You're a psychopath. You're a downright psychopath, weirdly. But all right, now I need to know. When you're having milk with cereal, or cereal with milk or whatever, do you put the cereal in the bowl first or do you put the milk in the bowl first or do you do something else entirely? I need to know. We, we need to know for science. You don't add any milk? You know what? That's fair. That is fair and valid. Do you add anything else, Spotty? Do you add, like, apple juice instead? Because I know that's a thing some people do. They are also psychopaths. I generally eat oatmeal, I put it in the cereal first. So you just eat plain dry cereals, buddy? That's fair, that's fair. <gasps> There's definitely some cereals I would eat um, plain. Wheat Bix is not one of them. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually eaten Wheat Bix in my life. Oh well. Oh, I was sitting with my legs crossed and now I have pins and needles in my leg. Mistakes have been made. But that's alright. I'll survive. Yeah. Definitely put a bit too much. Contrast medium. Not contrast medium, Lamium medium. 
into my grace here, but that's okay. It is actually making things easier. A little more tedious, but easier. I don't have to make sure I have enough water in my brush now. I can just use the limey and medium straight from the pot without thinning. Which is nice. Man, I am definitely looking forward to getting back to playing Tears of the Kingdom though. Such a good game. Very, very much a worthy sequel to Breath of the Wild. I need to go I need to stop getting sidetracked by side quests though. What do you think of that? Oh, oh, hang on. In enough time, I'll have enough missile defense system built in the battle station. Highly detailed digital map covers a mile area of that entire robot army. Kill switch, just in case. Always a good plan to have a kill switch, just in case. Form a vast empire, covers the entire country, form a navy and air force, and I'll make a cookie. <laughs> Depending on some brands and flavors, add Milo. Ooh, adding Milo. Wait, just straight up Milo powder, or Milo that's been added to milk first, like Milo Milo. I especially approve of the kill switch plan and the cookie plan. I 100% approve of getting yourself a cookie. <laughs> Everybody should treat themselves to a cookie every now and then. You know, dietary restrictions, depending. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. It's a cookie, that's all I want to be. Cookie, cookie, cookie. <laughs> Oh, dry? Yeah, yeah. I sometimes add dry Milo to ice cream. Tiger has returned. Yay, Tiger! Nothing like having a cookie after taking over a country. Exactly, exactly. Taking over a country is like hard work. You need some kind of sustenance, and a cookie is a nice little treat. Bastard. Actually, you know what? You can stay there. Alright, where was I? Actually, no. You're annoying me. Be gone. Oh, that's why you're getting stuck. You put a fucking primer on you. Oh, well, whatever. Alright, where was I? too much about the underside, but some of it is visible from the front, so I need to at least base coat it. Erebus does not deserve a cookie. Erebus deserves negative cookies. Erebus should have all his cookies taken away from him forever. 
No cookies for Erebus. Plenty of plan, I left out like stopping all crime, giving free healthcare. Ooh, free healthcare, yes. Getting rid of global warming. I mean, getting rid of global warming and free healthcare are pretty fucking important. Stopping all the crime. Mm. Ambitious. Very ambitious. I approve of ambitious. Like if, the, if enough of the other stuff works, then crime should drop by itself anyway. Like I don't think you'll ever be able to get rid of it entirely, but... GP, hello! Totally unrelated, random comment about a popular TV show, some prevalent online theory attached to it. <laughs> uh, spurious rejection of the popular online theory. Something, something, something. Hello, GP, how are you going today? What is up with you this fine, fabulous fucking Friday? Swearing that next comment won't contain any spoiler. Spoiler! No questions. I think Russ deserves a cookie. He's done some backbreaking. <laughs> Russ does not deserve a cookie for his backbreaking work. No, he does not. No cookie for Russ. Russ is being denied cookie privileges as well. But yes, hello, GP. Going to disappear again second, have to ask why it's not Because when I was doing the dry brushing for um, the edges on the black, I'd use my thumb to test to make sure I didn't have too much paint in my brush because I really didn't want like big blotches of paint ending up on the on the tank, you know, or on these these edges. Squid, do not believe a single word Spotty says. Spotty is the one doing the picking on. Body is a criminal liar, a lying criminal, full of crimes and bullying. But that's okay. We still appreciate Spotty being here anyway. Squid, the children are fighting. <laughs> yes, I'm glad it makes sense. But yes, that is why I have a green thumb right now. <laughs> Do not want chunky paint on my chunky tonks. Yes, and now I am base coating the skin areas before I make too much progress anywhere else. So I can be a little bit messy with the skin without having to worry about fucking up other areas. As long as I manage to keep it off the armor that I've already done. Love my new lamp. Ooh, shiny and lampy. Telescopy, movable and ooh, that does sound like a very cool lamp. Hell yeah, fancy lamp. Flampy. Fancy lamp. 
Fomp. 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 This is my new size 2 broken toe brush. No wonder it's working so well. Oh. I should switch brushes to a shittier brush, but. Oh well, I'll just have to be delicate with this base coating. I grabbed this particular brush because I thought it was one of my older, shittier brushes. And it turns out it is not one of my older, shittier brushes. So, whoopsies. Oh well, as long as I'm gentle with it, it'll be fine. <clears throat> oh, off in the distance, no worries, Squid. Thank you very much for dropping by again. This lamp. Ooh, let's check out the sexy lamp. Loading, loading. Oh, it won't let me open it. And I can't read the German. It's saying something about cookies and something about email addresses and passwords. Mm, sad face. I have to log in. The cats have managed to both use your bed and not attack each other. Excellent. Hell yeah, peace reigns. That is a bummer. You're just gonna have to like get an you know the link to a direct image or something and then hope that works. Oh you know, just screenshot it. <laughs> Take a screenshot, chuck it up on the Discord somewhere. Decided learning a second language, having a German can help you with that. I did do a bit of German back in like primary, high school, um, but I don't remember any of it because I never actually use it. I mean, I, I remember like Die Katze, Der Hund, Das Pferd, Die Wellenstiffi. I'm not sure about that one, but I know it's Budgie or Budgerigar or you know, Parakeet or something. Some kind of little bird. But you know, all the guys who call it Devalin Stiffy! Back in a few moments, need checking Bren again? No worries. Um, I also know Doof. That's a stein Doof. Got a good resource on learning which article you use when. Hit me up. I'm trying to learn German now. Riding the article struggle bus. But yes, yes, that's right. Flynn is Flynn is attempting to learn German at the moment. So, any resources would be very welcome. Uh, I am trying to remember any German and my brain is just completely blanking. 
which is really embarrassing. But yeah, I did I did a couple of years of German and a couple of years of Japanese, and unfortunately they were both at like the same time. <laughs> I think. Oh no, I think. No, maybe they were one after the other. I don't remember. I think I did more Japanese than I did German, though. Ooh, ah. Ah. I'm trying to remember how to count in German, but all I'm getting is the Japanese numbers instead. Oh, this is terrible. I can remember how to count to ten in Japanese. Ichi ni san chi go roku sichi hachi kyuju. Juichi ju ni ju san ju shi ju go ju roku ju shichi ju hachi ju ku ni ju. Technically, I could probably count up to like 99 in Japanese, but I'm not going to because that's tedious. But I'm trying to I'm trying to remember the numbers in German, and it's just not working because. I'm either getting the Japanese numbers or I'm just getting uno, dos, tres, cuatro, and that's also not German. <laughs> put the mouse on cards, put them in your toilet so you can test them every time you're coming. <laughs> Grew up in the park of Denmark, that was part of Germany for World War I. Well, I know the language decently. What what are what's the German for one two and three? If I can get if I can remember the one two and three of the German, I will sh hopefully be able to pull in the other numbers. But right now my brain is not cooperating with me. Ein, zwei, drei, vier. Ein, zwei, drei, vier. Ein, zwei, drei, vier. Oh, I can't remember the rest. Fuck. This is causing me physical pain. I used to know this. <laughs> but it's getting mixed up with other fucking languages. Eins, zwei, drei. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. There we go. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Fünf. Fünf. Why do I keep forgetting fünf? Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zen. 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 I think. Yeah, no, my memory for words is like... My memory for song lyrics. If I can't remember the first couple of words in the sequence, I can't pull in any of it. I have to have the full sequence. Especially if it's been a very long time since I last used any of it. Das ist mein... Das ist mein Hund. Oh, not Zen? Zen! Zen! Okay, more harsh. When I was in the Frankfurt airport, greeted in the plane, and we went to bathroom. I asked some questions about Plus Nazareth in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm not smart enough to be bilingual <laughs> or multilingual or whatever. Zen, Zen, Zen. Ichi ni san chi go roku sichi hachi kyuju. I don't know why I remember the, the Japanese more easily than I remember the German. Although probably because I use the Japanese longer than I use the German. But anyway. This is nothing to do with making intelligence, stupid. 
Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's more just I have no reason to use any other language here. Yeah, just learn how to use language on day basis. And I've got I've got no reason to use Japanese or German here. Um, like if I was going to learn another language, it'd actually be something like Mandarin or Cantonese or something, whatever whatever mum mum talks. But we've never really needed any reason for it, so. I'm a little salty that mum didn't bother teaching me, um, you know, her home language when I was growing up. But at the same time, I understand why she didn't, because I was already getting bullied for being the only Asian kid in a white school. And she didn't want me having even more reason for people to bully me because I was like not speaking English or whatever. So. And yeah, at this point, I just, I've got no reason to, re to learn it. No reason, no motivation. Too many other things to do with my time. Where can twelve be marked? Des Mondes Bizar a la al Selemon den Dorch de marked des Mondes can civil Gutstun. I have no idea what any of that says apart from the Sailor Moon bit. But I hope my pronunciation wasn't too terrible. <laughs> yeah, if it would be for that I would never learn English. Mm. I hope Votan get kind of some some kind of walker. Hmm, I hope so. You have to force yourself to confront the ugly language. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I've got no reason or motivation. I could watch every movie in German, watch Germany, don't watch everything in English. Instead. Fair. I learned German watching anime because Germans dub everything. <laughs> Valid. Valid. That's, that's probably part of the reason why I'm a little bit more comfortable with Japanese than I am with German, because, you know, I've watched a, a fair amount of subbed Japanese anime. Like, I, I make no effort to actually learn the Japanese and the sub Japanese anime, you know, I'm just there to look at the pretty pictures and glance at the subtitles every now and then while I'm doing something else. But I do remember I, one time I binge watched pretty much all of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, I think, while playing WoW. And then afterwards my internal monologue in my head was in Japanese that I couldn't understand for like three days. <laughs> Yeah, I just had I just had this constant internal Japanese monologue, and I had no idea what it was saying, but it was just there in the back of my head for like two or three days after binge watching Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if it was like actual legitimate Japanese or not, but yeah, I just spent so much time listening to to background Japanese dialogue that. My brain just sort of fixated on it for a few days. It was very disconcerting. Hmm. And they're good at it too. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's nothing quite so um uh, awkward as a, a badly done dub. Or sub. Either or. I mean, sometimes they're unintentionally hilarious. I was so immersed into English after watching a movie. Walked down to have lunch, started talking English to the mother. She looks at me like I had the plane. Understandable. <laughs> it's funny how brains work. Hmm. 
And like when you think about it, it's really kind of mir miraculous that our little squishy bits of electric jello manage to form any kind of complex thought whatsoever in the first place. across the entire world, which is kind of cool. Wouldn't say that my thoughts are complex. I mean, you wouldn't say they're complex because they're what you're accustomed to, you know? Like, there's plenty of stuff that I'm accustomed to that I think simple as, but other people who aren't accustomed to it would think, holy shit, that's, that's complex as hell, you know? It's all about what you're used to. Drink, plus a clack, sleep, more food in that order. Did I mention food? Food is complex. Food is not a simple thing. Ah, oxygen. Thank you very much for that breathing reminder. Dear lady, I definitely needed it. been forgetting to breathe tonight. Food is not complex, so the ice cream pasta. <laughs> hey, hey, no, I am saying food is complex. Food is absolutely complex. Stop putting the wrong words in my mouth, weirdling. Now I want a spaghetti ice cream. <laughs> Vanilla spaghetti on on vanilla spaghetti. <laughs> vanilla ice cream on spaghetti is actually not bad. Not bad at all. Like if you like vanilla ice cream and you like pasta, I would recommend combining the two at least once and giving it a try. Not a large amount, you know, just just a small amount to start with. But it's not bad. Also, a blended burger is like super complex because first you gotta make the burger and then you gotta blend it. That's like really complex. <laughs> I'll fight all the chat. Blended food is totally complex. You gotta you gotta make the food first before you can blend it. You know, you can't just chuck in these separate ingredients and blend that. That's not gonna work properly. You've gotta make the burger first, which is complex. Depending on how, you know, you make your burgers. And then you gotta blend it. And you gotta make sure you blend it right, you know. So you get the right texture and consistency. No. 
Hello, Lewin. Lewin, 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 Lewin. I'm very glad you're here. I need your um, input. So I've started the two tanks because the two tanks I'm, you know, pretty confident on. This is the Malignant Plague Caster, yes? That's the Malignant Plague Caster for this batch. And this is the Tally Man. So these are the two HQs, yeah? Just confirming. Spaghetti ice, cold whipped cream, vanilla ice cream, push through with potato, smash and spaghetti like strands. Oh, okay. That's a lad, that's a boy. All right, cool. Um, and then we've got the space, the, the plague marines. So let me just grab, I wanna make sure we've got, I also seem to be short a couple of plague marines and I'm not sure where they're at. So give me a sec, let me grab the rest. What am I caught on? Oh, that's what I'm caught on. Ah, shit, no, fuck. There we go, that's better. Okay. There we go, that dude. So these four are heroes because I've got the, the four bases. These ones are for the next batch, not this batch. Or some other batch anyway, so I've got that one. Those two are also... Oh wait, is this one? Is this one a regular marine? Just with a... This one's just a plague marine with a banner? I think he's the fifth one for the heroes there. Okay, that one's just the bloat drone. That's all the Coxwalkers, that's one, this one's the Terminators, and Lord Felthius. Okay, we've got no Plague Marines in there. But yeah, Lewin, I just want to get a, a double check on the number of Plague Marines. Um, because these are the ones I've got left so far. So we've got seven for this batch, and then I think it was five for the next batch. That banner guy's a plague marine. Okay, cool. Playing some Gears of War. Oh, nice. Excellent. Should have 13 left. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Is this dude another space marine? Uh, another plague marine? Or is he a HQ? That is another Plague Marine? Okay, cool. All right. Okay, so two, four, six, seven. Seven for the first, four, seven for this batch. Two, four, six, it's 13. Okay, sweet, all right. <laughs> it's really hard to tell characters from, oh, from Plague Marines with the Death Guards because they're all just so that. <laughs> I was just wanting to make sure that I hadn't like lost anything. Okay, okay, cool. So we've got... Um, that's right, that goes in there. So this guy's for one of the later batches. I can tell him that easily. Played with him a few times in my... There we go. Tallyman has the wrong size base though, does he? Mm-hmm. Hang on, let me grab the tally man again. Tally man's on the same size base as the malignant plague caster. I'm pretty sure that's the base that came with it, I don't know. Cool. So, 
actually want to want to save the ones with the uh, nerglings. Keep them together. Keep these guys together. Sweet. All right, that works. That works. Oh, I thought he was on the table. No, no, no. Um, that's the tally man. That's the malignant playcaster. I just had them off to the side because I didn't want to get them mixed up with the um, regular plague marines because my brain is having enough trouble right now as it is. <laughs> okay, so we're doing that seven for this bunch. This batch. All right, sweet. Sweet. Okay, let me put the rest away. Looking at the models. Oh, the Malignant Plague uh, I think that Malignant Plague Caster was one of the heroes set though. So it'd be the same size base as these ones. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. Okay, so that's our second batch of Plague Marines. Sweet, 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 okay. So I can get started on the um, green for them later. But right now, working on the tags. Yeah, the Space Marine Heroes play Gaster ship with small base. Because it's, it's, it's one of those custom bases. I remember that base being pretty cool and gravely because it had the little like fly thing in it. <laughs> I'm gonna blame you anyway, Lewin, because you're the one who like gave me the minis. <laughs> um, but if you do need a, s yeah. Well, the. Oh yeah, no, that is glued on. Eh, I'm sure it doesn't matter. Especially given the size of the casting thing, it's probably actually better that he is on a bigger base. So he's less likely to tip over. But anyway, alright. I'm glad we got that sorted. Yeah. So I've gotten the first pass of green done on the two vehicles. And right now I'm working on base coating the skin. Um, oh, he is base correct? Don't worry. Excellent. Sweet. Okay, cool. Whew. I need to double check what skin color we used for the... Oh, sorry. Sorry, I missed that. Ooh, ice cream. That does look good. Personally, I'm not a fan of strawberries, so I probably wouldn't eat it myself, but without the strawberry sauce. Yeah, I'd eat that. <laughs> Hang on, let's chuck that up on. There we go. Yeah, see, now that's ice cream spaghetti I can get behind. Brannigan sends his love. Ooh, yay! Say hello to Brannigan for me. Hi, Branny, hi. Um, yes, right. Uh, we were doing the same skin colour for all of the Mephitic Blight haulers, weren't we? If I could drive, use any vehicle for 40k, what one and why? Ooh. I'm not sure. I don't know, there's too many vehicles to choose from. Where is my Instagram? Oh, excuse me. All right, where? Here we go. Oh, do we have name? Do we have a name for this mephitic blight hauler, Lewin? Because the other one was the implausible ingurgitator. Okay, he's got the green. So this one's gonna have the green skin. Sweet. The green and the yellow and the blue. All right, I'm gonna have to keep this up for reference.
that corn tricycle. Not as yet. All right, keep me updated on the name thing. She's called Miranda. <laughs> I mean, that 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 could be a possibility. I don't know. And I, ooh, yeah, one of the Tao stealth suits could be very fun. I'd like to play around with the stealth part. <laughs> What is demanding attention with the screes? Field stealth suits just with empty paces. I've ever actually painted any tail yet. I don't think anyone has commissioned me for tail. Kind of disappointing. Oh well, one day maybe. Maybe one day. A new shadow sun is pretty good. Oh, I mean, I mean, we've got the list, Lewin. You can always chuck a character or something on the list for me to squeeze in between other stuff. I would use a stealth suit to steal skits. Why are you always after my Milo's body? You are perfectly capable of getting your own Milo. Why are you stealing my Milo? Why would you do that to me? I'm being bullied again. Being a Castellan robot count, because if it did, then you would have to make sure just brain be forced to become dumb and making a walkies from your tech priest. <laughs> oh, Lowen, Spotty is feeling very rejected by you at the moment because you have not been responding to his screes. Oh, catch! Oh no! Oh no! I'm about to get something straight to the face. <laughs> Loading, loading, loading. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! Ah! Right in the eyeball. Scree! But yes, give me a sec. I need to finish up this brush load of paint before I try it out in the brush. But yes, that little dude is looking very, very cool. I'm loving the green. That's some really nicely highlighted green there. For the skin. I love those yellow. Or almost yellow. Highlights. Lewin, you have been challenged to a duel. Do you accept? There we go. Hell yeah, I'm loving that skin. That's some really nicely highlighted skin. Very cool. And the rusty effect on the medals. Very, very nice. He is one cool little dude. Very awesome. A late night 15 minute painting snack. 15 minutes! Douche. Wow, 15 minutes? Nah, nah, I call bullshit. <laughs> I call bullshit. But no, if you, if you got that done in 15 minutes, I am very, very fucking impressed. Holy crap. I could not do that in 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm too slow. Too slow and pedantic. Alright, we're at least getting somewhere with this fucking grace here now. Yeah, I definitely thinned it a little bit too much with the medium, but that's alright. We we got there. We got there. Alright, how's the other side looking? 
Other side still needs a bit more touching up as well, but that's all right. Slap shop. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, so did you just like dry brush the the gray scale and then just slap um, contrast over the top? I really should try this slap chop fucking method at some point just to see if I can actually pull it off, figure out what the fuck's going on with it. Well that's very generous of you, Spotty. I will have to let Mittens know, Spotty, that you did a nice thing. And maybe you will get a point back. making sure my grace here isn't too patchy at this point. Oh, I need to go up. Oh, exactly. Put some more highlights and skin, paint in the middle part of dirty brown rust and done. Oh, nice. Yeah, I am, I'm gonna have to figure out this slap chop method at some point. given 4,000 skiss bits. Nice! People are being very generous tonight. Excellent. Contrasts the uh, massive amounts of violence. is just about done on this main part. Still need to do the mouth. Forgot about the mouth. Off to work. Ten hours. Oof. Well, you will definitely have earned that weekend off, Lynn. You have a most excellent day. Oh, good tutorial video. Yeah, sure. If you want to drop the link to the tutorial. Wait, are you in my Discord? I can't remember. If you're in my Discord, you can drop the link in the resource box. If you're not in my Discord, just drop the link here and then hopefully somebody else will copy paste it into the resource box for me. So I don't have to do it myself. But yeah, sure, drop drop us a link. And hopefully one day I'll remember to actually look at it. <laughs> Lotus Flynn! Mwah. 
I'm not exactly want me to paint color scheme two out of three minis. Ooh, excellent, excellent. I am looking forward to it, Spotty. But yes, Spotty, can you please copy paste the um, YouTube link into the resource box in the Discord for me? Thank you. Utilize your modly powers. I mean, not that you need to be a mod for this, but still. Thank you very much, Spotty. I believe that will earn you another point back from Mittens. Assuming I remember to actually let her know. Although I am sure you will also let Mittens know. Deserve all the squeeze. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, GP, for providing the link. I'll definitely have to remember to check that out at some point. When I have some time to actually play around with Flap Chop myself. I can test it out in some of the minis that you sent me, GP. I think I primed them white already. Poop. Oh well. Such violence. Alright. Ah! Fuck! Pisser! Ah, nuggets! Okay, we've got some skin bits on at least one of the guns, I believe. Oh, did I miss a measure spotty? I'm sorry, give me a minute. Give me a moment. My face, my beautiful face. Um, yeah, Lewin. <laughs> I uh I also I checked my at least I think I checked my files. Hang on, let me let me double check now before I forget again. But I'm pretty sure I did forget to photograph that last set of um, space mar of, of plague marines, which is kind of really embarrassing. <laughs> Sporty Sarah, Sarah Starchild, how are you going? Whoops, what did I just? Ah, fuck. That one. There we go. All right, give me a sec. Librarian. 40k. Raw files. Raw, raw, raw photos. Here we go. Uh, raw photos. Whoops, whoops, whoops. No light box. There would have been a light box. Don't on me. Jacques. Implausible Ingurgitator. Black Tulip. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I forgot to uh, photograph them. Hey, <laughs> sending them back. That is entirely for invalid. That's fine. No. I am not in any rush, Lewin. Like, 
I've got photos of some of the other Plague Marines and there's not much difference between one set of Plague Marines and another set of Plague Marines, so I'm not particularly fussed about it. <laughs> oh, friend for me. I may have yet another condition to add to the list. Oh no. Oh dear. Well, fingers crossed for you, Sarah, that it's, you know, not actually an issue, or if it is, at least knowing about it will help you look after it. Ah, oh, my water is cold. I mean, that's because it is kind of cold, but still, ah. Cats in general have no concept of personal space. You should be honoured that Tiger has deemed to share his space with you. Oh, yes, sorry, Spotty. Oh my gosh, my brain. Oh, there we go, I did get it. Tiger has no concept of personal space. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Lewin, I wouldn't worry about photos until we've got the whole Remember Death Guard army I done. Oh, thank you. <gasps> Dingo! 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 Hobby Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Dingo. Thank you very much for that resubscription. 33 months. Hell yeah. How are you going, man? Personal space? What's that? Shows a button to face. Yeah, that sounds like cats. Cats have absolutely no concept of personal space, and we love them for it because they're cute and fluffy. Anyway, how are you going, Dingo? <gasps> Sleeping on your phone? Well, that's obviously because he thinks your phone is nice and warm. Out here, no worries, Lewin. Thank you very much for dropping by, and hopefully I'll catch you later. Dingo! Dingo! Hey Dingo, when did you change your um, screen name? Because it definitely didn't used to be Dingo's Hobby Chat. But luckily I recognised you anyway. <laughs> Happy to have you here, man. Were you streaming tonight? Also, everyone, this is Dingo, aka the absolute asshole bastard who got me into mini painting in the first place. So you can blame him for all of this. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, thank you very much, Spotty, for that shout out. So if you guys are not yet following Dingo, please make sure you go give him a follow. He is quality entertainment and also 100% to blame for me painting minis in the first place. So you can like, go and yell at him or something. <laughs> yes. And that is why I call him Hobby Daddy. <laughs> Rename because the channel changed focus. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Bit, what were you working on tonight? Were you, no, you finished your orcs. What were you working on tonight? If you finished your orcs. Dingo plays that space mining game. <laughs> Wait, what's Dingo done this time? Oh, you mean you're blaming him for me painting? Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> How could you, Dingo, you monster? Monster. Absolute. No. Dingo has zero regrets. <laughs> but yeah, right now I am base coding um, Death Guard vehicles. See upon your creation and weep. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a mood. Necrons! Alright. Necrons are pretty cool. What colour scheme are you going to be doing your robot boys in, Dingo? I need to know this for reasons. 
Are you going the traditional silver black green or are you going to do something a little different? Also, you better not be fucking blind building them. If you're blind building your Necrons, I am going to manifest in your house and do something inadvisable. <laughs> skits is best skits. I mean, skits is only skits, hopefully, and therefore simultaneously both best and worst skits. <laughs> Necrons. GP approves. Excellent. Excellent. Yes, I need to know the colour scheme. I absorb the your sins. <laughs> nice. Time to blind build some necrons. <laughs> Do not blind build Necrons. Do not. Please do not. You'll make me sad. You'll make me so sad. Blind building Orcs is acceptable. <laughs> blind building Necrons still. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, your suffering makes me cry on the inside, Dingo. <laughs> Still haven't told me the color scheme. Or do you not have a color scheme plan for your Necrons yet? <laughs> Clipping all Necron parts into pile, thinking it's all the same, and then noticing the error of your ways. Dingo just has a bad habit of like throwing away the instructions and going, I'll be fine. <laughs> Spoiler alert, he was not fine. Dingo, Dingo is actually pretty good at blind building shit. Much to my eternal despair. <laughs> I am the exact opposite of encouraging a blind building spotty. Stop lying. Why, why must you go onto the internet like that and say lies? Enough for the base coat for the skin there. All right, I still got some flesh tubes and some meat bits back here as well. Kind of making scheme up on the fly again. Oh no, are you going to crowdsource? Are, are you going to decide on the paint scheme based on what your chat recommends again, Dingo? <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh. Built the entire box without instructions. He is the chosen one. I don't know if he's gotten the entire box done yet. Well, maybe he has, I don't know. Have you got the entire box done yet, Dingo? Cyberite green base, Rune Lord brass armor. Ooh, gold details and green glow gunny boots. Sounds very Aussie. <laughs> I approve. Green and gold. Hell yeah. Very nice, very nice. outsourced again. <laughs> Please throw anything and everything in Dingo, preferably at speed and with force. <laughs> Color schemes, army lore, the kitchen sink, you know. <laughs> oh yes, let us have a look. Let us have a look see. Has it loaded? Oh hell yeah. Oh yes, I remember this one. I remember this game. Look at this. Why have I not got that like? I thought I liked that one, or maybe it was a different one. Either way, have a like. Look at this sexy lad. Smackshi! Super smackshi! Very, very cool. Oh, 
you missed. <laughs> Are you talking? Which, which message? Oh, because spreading misinformation. I did actually see it, and I just forgot to meant to, to to comment on that body. But yes, spreading misinformation is very fun. You're you're not wrong. Ew, Necron. I'm sorry, Spotty. I am being very, um, very bad with missing messages tonight. My apologies. <laughs> no, missed. Missed. There's just something about Spotty's messages in particular. I don't know why, but I just tend to, I have this really bad habit of glazing over them. <laughs> and it's not deliberate. It is honestly not deliberate. It's just, I don't know. But no, the one about spreading misinformation, I did actually read it, but I got distracted responding to something else someone someone else had said, and I forgot to like actually acknowledge it out loud. My apologies there, Spotty. But no. The only people I deliberately ignore are bots. I would never deliberately ignore any of my viewers. Accidentally, all the time. Deliberately, no. Prepare yourself. Oh, it is dual time, apparently. <laughs> yeah, Dingo is an old man. Super old. He's even older than I am. And I'm pretty fucking old. <laughs> Ramble that ice cream variations doesn't even flinch. Oh, nice. Alex, why are you beating up Dingo? That's mean. I approve. <laughs> but yes. My my chat has been very incredibly violent tonight, Dingo. There's been so much dueling going on. I keep getting bullied by my own mods. I keep stealing my bits. I still don't know what happened. <laughs> It's a, it's one of the little games my um, Stream Elements bot has. You can challenge each other to duels, and you can even uh, wager bits. Oh, not bit, um, points, skits, skits bits, which are different from Twitch bits. Um, but yeah, you can wager like skits bits on the duels. Dingo should be a VIP. Why have I not made Dingo a VIP? Spotty, can you make Dingo VIP or is that something that I have to do? Dingo is indeed a very important person. Dingo is Hobby Daddy. He already has the first batch. What does he need? Good question. Busted yellow Necron looks like smashed up old Holden. Oh, nice. Looks like Dingo is going through your Instagram there. GP. Hell yeah. Very impotent. Bone. I would have done it if I could. Okay, all right, cool. That I that looks like I need to make. Um, how do I do this? Okay, cool. That's how I do it. Dingoes, Bobby, Chant. There you go, Dingo. You are now a VIP in my channel. I hope you approve. <laughs> I have no idea what it actually does, but you know, you can feel important. You can feel more important. <laughs> it's because your face is just so there, Dingo. 
Your face is just such an irresistible target. <laughs> Oh, throwing his links at his face. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Sorry, I keep missing bits of chat because, like, painting and then glancing up and then painting and then glancing up and then sometimes stuff gets off screen before I manage to look at it. But yes. Ugh, I keep forgetting to breathe again. Ah, yes. You guys, Dingo can confirm that he has seen me stop breathing while I'm painting. Dingo has had to physically remind me to breathe while I'm painting. Oh, thank you, Dingo. Dingo has also made amazing progress with his health and fitness. So high five to both of us. And yes, I was visiting Dingo yesterday. <laughs> yes, it was yesterday. Long pass. Just uh, don't aim those links too low, GP. Dingo's knees aren't what they used to be. Really? Or are you just exaggerating for effect? I mean, the lack of breathing would definitely explain a few things. <laughs> Kick scene. <laughs> Might have painted one or two Necrons in search of my color scheme. That's definitely something that happens sometimes. Alright, am I done with the fleshy bits? Oh, nope, there's another flesh tube. <sighs> Why must Death God have so many flesh tubes? So many tubes of meat. Congratulations on the gambling, Dingo. Don't gamble anymore. You don't want to lose it all. Weirdling regularly gambles all his points and then loses them all. It's very, very tragic. Also funny as hell, but you know, tragic. And to even things out, I'll fight skits in the Macca's car park. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome to try, Spotty. I will 100% take you on in that fight in the Macca's car park. And I will win because I am best at fight. Yes, I do actually. Uh, uno momento, por favor. Let me grab her. And her little puppy. Yes, I need to show off. Dingo gifted me a couple of minis yesterday. Which I will paint up at some point once I figure out what I'm doing with the basing. But I have a rogue trader and her puppy dog. Spotty has been in my stream since pretty much the beginning of my streaming three years ago, <laughs> Alex. 
Shortstop. Dog, 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 dog. But yes. So, at some point, I will figure out some nice fancy basing for these two. And then I'll paint them up all pretty. Oh, Dingo, I forgot to show you this one yesterday. Um, but I was work I've been working on, yeah, the Inquisitor Curia Draxus. So, been playing around with some non-metallic metal for once for her. Still need to do a bit more work on it, I think, but it's getting there. I need I need to pull back some of the highlights in the front here, I think. I was I was doing something with it and then I got distracted or something, I can't remember. But anyway. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at with Draxus at the moment. Also with the, the custom built base. Happy to die on this hill. <laughs> Hopefully it inspires the Necrons. Fingers crossed. Yeah, nice works. Thank you. Bye. One day I'll get around to actually finishing it. I still haven't decided what colors I want to do the bloody dragon, which is why I haven't finished her yet. All right, we've got more flesh bits in the face plate. Give me some ideas. Excellent. That is what we are about here. Sharing ideas and inspiration. Hell yeah. I like the pale skin of the dragon. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I want to do a bit more with it though. Like right now that's just the, the Drucci Violet under shading. That's not actually meant to be a color. That's just like the, the pre-shading. Um, and I'm trying to decide if I want to do something like blue or blue to green or blue to purple or you know, some kind of gradient or whatever. And I'm just, too many colors, too many decisions, not enough decisiveness. <laughs> In your Instagrams now, on the hunt. Excellent. But yeah, once again, make sure you go follow Dingo on Twitch. And if you get the opportunity, check out his streams. He is a highly entertaining fellow. And I'm sure he can share many incredibly embarrassing stories about me that I do not remember. <laughs> oh! Hi, Joe! Oh, yes. Gotta come down there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well... Me coming down, Dingo, is entirely dependent on you letting me know when you have time available. So, let me know when you have time available, and I will come down again. Assuming I also have time available at that time. <laughs> and yes, I'm looking forward to the meat house steak. Bloody paint. Why are you being so bastard way to me tonight? So many stories. I call them word bearers. Oh no. I hope Mechanicus get Mechanicus get more robots. Yeah, I hope so too. Mechanicus Mechanicus gets some cool stuff. I'm available, yes ma'am. Excellent, excellent. Alright. Let me. Happy to die on this hill. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and yes, Dingo has absolutely seen my just complete lack of pain reflex before. <laughs> Dingo Dingo has witnessed has personally witnessed my um damage resistance in action. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. A little bit ridiculous.
You will have to share some stories about that, Dingo. I can't remember anything. Oh yes, you, you can absolutely mention your streaming times, Dingo. 100%. Go for it. And yes, hey, 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 to be fair, I don't suck at dice rolling. It's the dice gods who hate my face. Bodius Shark says, Microsoft Word theme Space Marine, they are word bearers. <laughs> Microsoft Word themed Space Marines. They would be word bearers. Oh my god. No, I... Spotty! Spotty! Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Ooh, humans and space... Humans of space orc stories. Yes, I do vaguely remember that. I don't remember any details, but I do remember that that was a thing we talked about. Um... I find most of these stories just randomly crossing my dash on Tumblr and sometimes they've been yoinked from Reddit, um, sometimes they're native to Tumblr, sometimes they're yoinked from you know other forums that I don't actually know the names of, I don't know, I would not be able to remember specifically. Alas, unfortunately. I think there's, I think there's a whole Reddit, subreddit or whatever called Humanity Fuck Yeah where a lot of these humans are space orcs or you know humans are awesome in space stories end up so yeah maybe check out humanity fuck yeah on reddit you should be able to find some good stuff there maybe not specifically that one story but there should be other stuff name the cutest thing in 40k nerglings no contest Nurglings are the cutest thing in 40k. Nothing else comes even close. How many times can you epically fail side checks? Three. How many times will that summon a greater demon? Also three. Yeah. Yeah. But to be fair, dingo. Again, it's not that my dice rolls suck. Like, at least I'm able to hit the table with my dice. I don't miss the table with my dice rolling. It's just that the dice gods hate my face and love making my characters suffer. Also, was it three? I only thought it was two. I can't remember the third one. Turn it gaunt. Eh. Ooh, squigs. Squigs are also pretty cute, but I think nerglings have squigs beaten out for the cuteness of the factor. Actually, no, no, you know what's the cutest thing? The cutest thing in 40k are Necron Scarabs. Because you can hold them gentle like hamburger. Necron Scarabs are the most adorable thing in 40k. They're cute little stabby Roombas. Gaunts. Wait, squigs. Squigs. Seen the bat squigs. Squigs ugly. Pfft. Ugly is part of what makes things cute. But no, seriously, you're all wrong. It's the scarabs. It's the Necron scarabs. Fight me. <laughs> I will win that fight. Because the Necron Scarabs, you know, you can you can hold them just like hamburger and they have that one great big giant eye that just like... Actually, oh, no, no, no. The cutest thing in 40k is Scabby Nibbles. This, this right here. This right here is the cutest thing in 40k. Look at that face. Look at it, look at it. Scabby Nibbles loves you. 
I'm sorry, but Scabby Nibbles wins. Because look at that. Look at that. Look at him. He's adorable. Look at him. He's just like... Scabby Nibbles. He just wants to eat shoelaces. Yay. He is judging you. <laughs> You're all wrong. Scabby Nibbles is the cutest. Scabby Nibbles! Oof! Ouch! Oh, tailbone! Tailbone, tailbone! Dingo! Dingo, do you get a really sore tailbone after streaming, or do you avoid that with all the push-ups? <laughs> Yay, skitten sticker! Yay! You've noticed my Sisters of Battle uh, girly girl pinup? Excellent, excellent. I'm glad you noticed it. I still think Predator King is prettier though. Like, you can't really see Predator King very well from here, but Predator King's prettier. Ah. Oh no, I am making a mess. Oh well. But yes, I, I remembered. I remembered to put her up there, Dingo, after yesterday. I did, however, forget to adjust my sticker points. <laughs> power boobs. Oh, I can't fucking stand those power boobs. They are just... No, no, no! <laughs> Now, if those power boobs are actually like scarab holders for, you know, surprise scarab deployment, then maybe. That would make it moderately acceptable. Except for the whole, you know, heresy thing of Xenotech. <laughs> Push ups, avoid the tailbone issues. Fair. Fair. God damn. Uh, oh well. Oh well. I do not have space for a floor cam, so I am not going to be doing push-ups on my streams anytime soon. Alright, I believe... Yeah, it's just about midnight. So... I think I've made some good progress tonight. We got the green done on both the tanks and then we got most of the flesh based on scabby I still need to do that little bit there oh, and a little bit there and I think that's it you know what I'm gonna do this now quickly before we wrap up because otherwise I will forget smash me tonight 200 push-ups over three hours ha <laughs> suffer <laughs> Just think how how swole you'll get though, Dingo. Think how mighty you'll become. You will win so many arm wrestles. <gasps> squid! 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 Dingo is here! Dingo is here! Say hi to Dingo! Say hello to Hobby Daddy! <laughs> but yes, Dingo, meet Squid. AKA Squid Sprinkles. Squid, meet Dingo, AKA the bastard responsible for my mini painting. <laughs> Evening streams, 8 p.m. to 11-ish, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That is in Eastern Australian standard time. Proud owner of a troll multi-part regiment 3D printing file. Ooh, nice. Yes, yes, that's right, Squid. Dingo was very, very um, delighted with your name when I mentioned it yesterday while I was visiting. So I'm very glad that you showed up in time to meet Dingo tonight. 
Because hell yeah, I want my friends to be friends. <laughs> can we raid Brannigan? We can absolutely raid Brannigan. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. There you go, Dingo. Thank you for introducing me to mini painting. <laughs> Midnight, wifey just walked out and gave me the look. <laughs> yes, I should be wrapping up in like just a minute. But yes, say hello to Joe for me, Dingo. I'm sure she'll forgive you. And thank you very much for dropping by. And hopefully I will catch you again later. Almost done with this little bit of flesh, and then we can wrap up and go raid Brannigan's brushes. Because apparently Spotty wants to cause problems on purpose again. Which, you know, fair and valid. And I want to go play Tears of the Kingdom. So, there we go. I'm pleased with tonight's progress. I am satisfied with tonight's painting progress. So let me just clean my brush. You are super important to me, GP. I value your appearance here every time you show up. All my viewers are super important to me. It's just that some people are super duper important, like Hobby Daddy. <laughs> Bobby Daddy is special. <laughs> yes, good night, Dingo. See you later, hopefully. All right. Brush is cleany clean. Or at least as clean as I care to get it right now. So we are gonna go raid Brannigan. Brannigan. I love my pet scarab, pride and joy. Hell yeah, as he should be. You know what? I don't think I've painted any Necrons either. There's a lot of 40k armies I haven't actually painted any of. Hmm. Oh well, one day. I know I'm important, but am I impotent? <laughs> I don't know, GP. Do I make you impotent? <laughs> uh, that, that is a question that you have to answer yourself. <laughs> All right, anyway, okay, let me, let me get shit set up. <laughs> Brannigan Okay, stream manager Brannigan Does my lack of balls qualify? I guess. I mean, again, I think that's something that you're just going to have to answer for yourself. I'm, I wouldn't know. <laughs> All right, we're going to go raid Brannigan. Once you're in there, make sure you, you say hi to him. If you're not yet following him, hit that follow button. Give him some love. It's not Monday. It's Saturday. <laughs> raid, raid, raid. It is now actually Saturday. Here it is six minutes past midnight Saturday morning. So time zones! Yay! But no, Spotty just likes to try and trick me into thinking it's Monday when it's not. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much everyone for hanging out with me tonight. Super appreciated as always. Look after yourselves, look after each other, and hopefully I will see you guys all next stream. Cole is always watching me. Cole's just a creepy bastard like that. <laughs> anyway, catch us all later. And now we play the waiting for the Aussie lag to catch up game. Aussie lag, Aussie lag. <laughs>